Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to disable the Save and the Save as function in Excel. Let's go to the Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Double click on this workbook. From the list of objects, select Workbook. From the list of procedure, scroll up and look for Before Save. Delete the unwanted procedure and write the code in the Before Save procedure. Notice that there are two variables, namely the Save as UI and the cancel variable. To disable, let's make use these two variables. We need a condition when the user use the save as function, that is, when save as UI is set equal to true, then we should set the second variable, that is, cancel, be equal to true. And we can prompt out a message box telling the user that the save as function is disabled. Type as string, which means that we need quotation marks. Besides, if we wish to disable the save button as well, we need the second condition, use else if, followed by this workbook.save property, and we set equal to true. If this is the case, again, we should cancel it, set equal to true. Also, with a message box to tell the user that workbook is not saved. Start with if, of course, we need to end with if. To ensure this could run correctly, we should copy this statement and paste it before the condition. Besides, we might be facing an issue. That is, since we have disabled save and save as function for this workbook, which means that after we have done writing this code, we are no longer be able to save this, as we can see here. Which means that when we reopen this workbook, the code that we have written here gone. To overcome this issue, let's introduce another condition. That is, when the user are intended to save the workbook. We can prompt up an input box and ask for a password. We can give a title for this input box if needed. If the user is able to provide the correct password, let's say the password is 123, then we should allow Excel to save this workbook and followed by a message box telling that the workbook is saved. Otherwise, we should cancel save and tell the user workbook is not saved. Start with if, of course, we need to end with if, and the user will be able to save if the password provided is correct, as we can see here. However, the user will not be able to use the save as function, as we can see here. Another issue we might be facing is if we amended the workbook and closed this workbook directly, it's a bit weird if Excel asks us why they want to save this workbook, but we ask a password from the user in order to save this workbook. Therefore, to ensure that the user did not receive any message, let's back to the Developer tab and Visual Basic. From the list of procedure, this time let's choose Before Close. Copy this statement and paste it here. Now let's save, provide the correct password and click on OK. Once the workbook is saved, Try to make some changes, click on close, and the user will no longer be receiving the message. Let's reopen, and we should be able to notice that changes were not saved. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.